Here are the free PlayStation Plus games for July 2023. Starting off with the first one, we've got Alan Wake. And genuine moments of terror. Follow the light. Now, for some reason, I think light is like your best friend in this. Anyway, number two, we have Endlings. Now, I didn't really get to play this for too long, but from what I gathered, you are playing as a fox. Your forest home is burning down, you escape that, and then I'm pretty sure I ended up picking a different puppy to play as. So I don't I don't know if she dies or he dies. I think it's a she. I don't know if she dies and you start playing as one, but I don't really play beyond that. But either way, it was kind of a unique way for the uh, the game to be. It's kind of like side-scrolling, but then at the same time, it still is three-dimensional. Um, because at some points you have to like change directions and stuff, and then the whole map rotates. It's kind of weird. Either way, beyond the uh, forest, you immediately met with like all sorts of dangers of the outside world beyond the forest. And then this is the part I was talking about where you had to choose a puppy. This game doesn't look half bad, but moving on to number three and a surprising one, Call of Duty Cold War. I didn't really have to leave this cutscene in because the game's pretty self-explanatory, but I thought I might leave it in just to show you like how crazy like the hair in this scene is for starters, like it looks pretty damn realistic. Did you get the package? We've lost two teams since you went. Anyway, I actually had tons of fun on this. Played it for ages. Started playing the uh, Dead Ops Arcade 3 first person view, which is kind of wacky to me because I've only ever played it in uh, like bird's eye view. Got pretty decently like high around, and I don't know, I was, I was really enjoying it, but then uh, as you do, I slipped up. Beyond the traditional zombies, this is kind of what I wanted to play it for anyway, was the zombies, obviously this multiplayer campaign as well, but beyond that there was the Outbreak Survival, which is like a whole different version of it, um, I think they tried to implement this a little bit in like the Call of Duty Mobile zombies, but it didn't really work out or something like that. But basically, you land, you loot, you can take your time, it's on level 1 at the moment, so like round 1. And I think this whole world remains on round one until you complete the objective. Not a hundred percent sure about that. Either way, it's wacky. Anyway, there's like stages to this where it keeps running away and like spitting zombies at you to fight. And then I made the mistake of shooting these guys. I don't think I need to. Either way, it's like that crazy transit lady but different. There's another thing about this, there's just so many different types of zombies now that it's just like crazy to keep up with this cool. Oh, another thing too, um, you can just like straight load in to these zombie maps with like a chosen class from like Warzone type of thing, but like I think you can only carry one gun and one uh, ability to start off with. It's still pretty damn cool. Hurry it up! 
Anyway, I feel like leaving that in there because I was just nuts. Can't imagine what level 2, 3, and 4 would be like. Anyway, these are all free with PlayStation Plus July 2023. Get them while you can. 